Good day, everyone. Today is Monday, August the 30th, uh, 2021. Very special guitar on the bench today for our, uh, for our good friend, Mr. Rob Barrett of Cannibal Corpse. This is his brand new uh, Dean Z custom guitar. And I've got the lights dimmed right now so you can see what Rob sees on stage. He has these LEDs installed for his dot markers. And I'm telling you what, you can read a book by these things. <laughs> it's pretty darn cool. Uh, let me get the lights on here. That's better. So like I say, what we've got here is a very nice Dean Z custom. Um, extremely nice guitar. It's black with the red binding. We got the Fishman Fluence pickups. Two volumes, no tones. He went with the Floyd Rose on this one. That's a it's an original Floyd Rose. Nothing fancy. All stock parts. Um, three way switch up there on the on the protruding horn. Let's get this out of the way just slightly here. If I zoom in some, you can see it has the red kill inlay. Let's, it's kind of hard to photograph uh, well. Uh, you see he's got his, his kill inlay up high, and then the, uh, the fetus skeletons uh, for the other inlays. There's the largest one there at the first fret. And uh, like I say, it's a very nice black finish with red binding. Grover tuners, Floyd Rose nut. Um, on the back of the uh, body, there is a pair of battery cavity uh, access uh, access points so that you can change the batteries. One one battery is for the pickups, and the other battery is for the LEDs. That way, um, you just keep them separate because Fishman's kind of eat batteries, and you want to be able to get to that battery quickly and efficiently, and you don't want it sharing a battery with anything else. So, yeah, pretty pretty neat guitar. Actually, it's very heavy. But it sounds really good and it plays excellent, as you might expect. This is out of the Dean Custom Shop right here in Tampa Bay, over on the Tampa side. Wonderful people, wonderful products. Seek them out. Um, American made, by golly. Um, that's it, really. Oh, I know what I wanted to. He is using, because you're going to ask, uh, Daddario NYXLs gauged 13 to 56 with a wound third if it'll focus. There it is. And their model number on this set is NYXL 1356 W. Whoops, got out of the camera range there. Yeah. Rob's tuning is uh, as if it was a seven-string tuning. He tunes the, the second string, which would ordinarily be a B string for us mere mortals that work in standard tuning. Uh, Rob's, this, is, this guitar is tuned to their A-sharp tuning, their tenor tuning, their higher tuning. Uh, and it goes from the bottom, A-sharp, D-sharp, G-sharp, C-sharp, F sharp, A sharp. The only string that's different from a normal tuning, tuning is this second string. It's tuned one half step higher to an F sharp instead of an F, which is what you would normally tune if you were tuned to that pitch and tuned in the same intervals as a normal guitar. Now, I'm going to answer a question here because I've gotten, well, frankly, some shitty little comments about what I... Uh, use terminology-wise to describe sharps and flats. The reason I always say sharp 
is found on a professional strobe tuner. If you look at my con strobe tuner that I use for everything, the dial is in sharps. All of, all of those notes are in sharps. Once you know about that, then you express everything in sharps if there is no key signature. Once you're playing a song and you have a key signature, then the key signature dictates whether you address those notes as sharp or flat. But a con strobe tuner addresses all those notes as sharps. Now it does have a, a setting for B flat and E flat on it. Uh, but all of the letters on the dial are sharps. So that's, um, that's how I work it. And that's how I, that, that is the reason why I always say sharp, uh, when expressing a tuning, A sharp or G sharp where Cannibal Corpse is concerned. Um, that's why, because that's what, that's what my equipment wants. <laughs> so anyway, um, here we go. Yeah. Great guitar. Uh, Dean Custom Z um, for Rob Barrett, Cannibal Corpse. Dropped this by today, and uh, we're proud and pleased to uh, set it up for him. Um, didn't need much, frankly. But, uh, yeah, great guitar. Um, anyway, that's all I know for this one. If you got any questions about anything we do here at Granville Guitars, seek us out on the web at granvilleguitars.com. You can also find us on Instagram and Facebook. That's all I know for today. Be good to one another.